Yo, Wagwan people. So, I've been trying to share with, with you guys my love for everything retro in accordance to all the old school Nickelodeon stuff. I was a big Nickelodeon kid. I told you guys this already. So, this is actually one of those subscription boxes that you get quarterly. So, every three months you get one of these. And this one is the Nick box. So, you actually get a bunch of different stuff like picture frames, planters, coffee mugs, t-shirts, things like that, all pertaining to all the old school Nickelodeon shows, all the Nickelodeon shows from the 90s. So I definitely thought that this was something I had to do, something I had to get and share with you guys. So this is going to be something you see every three months or so because that's how often they do it, they do it quarterly. So I'm going to be getting these things and I'm going to unbox it with all of you guys and share that experience with you and let you see all the cool things that come inside of it, you know? But this is the one for winter 2019, I guess you could say 2019, 2020, but this is the one. They theme them uh, accordingly. So this one is all actually called Ice and Slime. This is the box itself and they got like images, you got Rocket Power on this side, Hey Arnold, the back has Cat Dog, the bottom has Reptar. But yeah, we can open these things and inside you're gonna get a car that details everything that's in the box. So when I open the box, I'm gonna put that to the side because I don't wanna spoil the contents of what's in here, you know? So we'll all be surprised together. But I think I should go ahead and open this thing and let's show you guys. Okay, this is pretty nice here. This is the card, I'm not gonna look at the card. But inside of the box looks like this. You know, so you got all the characters and everything. This one's pretty, pretty plain and simple. It's pretty nice though. But from what I see is that they try to design the inside of the box too accordingly, in a sense. This one, I don't feel like they did too much with it, but still pretty nice, not bad. Anyway, let's go ahead and start pulling things out of here. Okay, so this is something I've wanted to do since the holiday season was starting to come around and seeing this here, this is actually getting me a little bit of hype and I'm probably gonna do it next year because this year was too sudden for me to try to do it. But an ornament set. So you got here Rugrats, they're on a Reptar bobsled. You got Ren and Stimpy in the snowball fight and you got Arnold playing hockey. And this is ornaments, so I might actually do my Christmas tree next year. And share that with you guys, you know? This is pretty awesome, we got a little bit of Christmas ornaments here. All right, there is a, oh, this is a shirt or something, let's see. I'm just gonna go for this here. Okay, an auto rocket Bible figure, and it's him on a snowboard. Let me go ahead and open this, so you guys can get a better look. I already have plans of, with what I'm gonna do with all these little toys and, and stuff, so. Okay, this is not bad. This is the Auto Rocket Vinyl figure. I think that's actually pretty dope. They decorate the inside of the box and everything. They go hard, they go hard. All right, let me put this up. So we got an Auto Rocket Vinyl figure. I thought that's pretty dope. All right, should I pull this out from in between? Oh, okay, let's get this first. The Emperor's New Joe coffee mug. I already can tell from the way everything is. This is from our uh, Rockwell's Modern Life. Which is the whole concept of how I got the name Jason Modern Life. Based off of Rocco. So for those of you that didn't know that, now you do. Okay. Okay. The Chameleon Brothers. Cafe Chameleon. This is actually a not a bad mug. It's a little bit dirty from the styrofoam, but it is not bad. I like it. Cafe Chameleon coffee mug, based off of Rapid Modern Life. Should I have kept it out of the box? It's all right. Coffee mug. What is this? This is kind of heavy. Bookends. So we have books. And you have them standing up somewhere so they're not falling over. You got bookends. And from what it says, it's cat dog. Cat dog bookend set. Okay. And 
we're trying to keep them separated so then oh. okay that's pretty neat it's a cat dog and you got a dog on this end here and it kind of swings out look pretty neat oh i get it so when the books are in between it's like they're going in between the books all right and they kind of wrap them separately so that way they don't get scratched up which is a good thing to do and then oh the pin's sliding out but there you go and that's cat so side by side they're gonna end up looking like this that's pretty neat I like that. Cat dog bookends. Okay, it goes with the whole theme because if you think about it, usually winter time, you know what I'm saying, you're going to be inside, you might be cuddled up with a book or something, so cat dog bookends. Makes sense. Wrap that up. For now, put that to the side. Let's see what else is in here. I'm going to save like, it's like a shirt or something, I'm going to save that for last, but what do we have? Better than bad is good. We have a magnet set. It looks like it's Ryan Stimpy Grace. The log. Oh, the log was a toy. That was a big thing in Ryan Stimpy, but they have a magnet set. I'm going to go ahead and open this. And we'll see what magnets came inside of it. I see the next thing in the box. It's pretty dope. But anyway, these are the magnets. Got him with the wand there. Oh. What the heck is this? I don't remember half of this stuff. That's the logo. This is the log itself. Oh, okay, you can dress them up how you want to dress them up. It gets little outfits and scarves and, and everything like that. So that's pretty cool. Like I said in my sock video that I post on Instagram. I wasn't too big of a random Stimpy fan, a little bit out there, but I still like to see all of the stuff that, that I remember from it and everything like that, you know? We got... <laughs> it's a pin set, it looks like, but they made it look like a ticket to Reptar on ice for the packaging. <laughs> okay, so you actually have Reptar on ice, you know, when he was figure skating with the with the girl, and then you actually have a ticket for it. And it's funny because they put they put their stuff on there, the Nick Box presents, and then Reptar on ice, and you have the ticket right there. This is actually pretty pretty dope because I have a Nickelodeon jacket, and I'm trying to collect some pins to put all over the jacket and everything like that. So this is going on there definitely. This is pretty nice. Reptar on ice pins. Alright guys, what does it look like we have in here? Just two things left. Two things left. A double dare scarf. Look at this. This is actually pretty nice. You got the slime and everything, and it is actually two-sided, so flip it around just like that. And here we go. Double dare logo on there. It's not bad. Very Nickelodeon. Okay. Now I'm going to have a lot of stuff, I'm going to have to travel places that's colder. But yeah, double there. One thing I should tell you guys is that they say everything is licensed. So even though it is exclusive for the Nick Box and Culturefly makes it specifically for the Nick Box, it is officially licensed. So this is all officially licensed Nickelodeon stuff. So it's official. So let's see what we got here. Okay, so, I don't know if you guys remember, but like, in between the cartoons, sometimes they would have like, the Nickelodeon bumps, that's what they call them, the bumps, and it's like, you know, you like, you had the old dinosaur, or like, the little claymation stuff, and that's how, what made popular the whole, Nick, 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 Nickelodeon, that whole thing, like, those little bumps is what made that popular, and... This is one of them, and it is a nice, it's kind of thin for a sweatshirt, but it's not bad. This looks kind of wide for a size small, but size small. So yeah, you pick your size and stuff like that when you sign up for it. But yeah, I got a nice little sweatshirt here. This is pretty awesome. 
So, alright guys, that is the Nick box. This is everything I got in here. You got the sweatshirt. I should put something away down. Okay, I got a coffee mug. The Auto Rocket snowboarding vinyl figure, which is pretty dope. Like I said, I got the sweatshirt. The sweatshirt is really nice too. I got the Double Deer scarf. Reptar on ice pins, enamel pins. I got the Ren and Stimpy log magnets. I got the cat dog bookends. I wrapped that up so I don't know why I'm showing you guys it like that, but alright. I got the ornaments. So I think this is actually pretty awesome. This is nice for a winter box. So this is something I would definitely recommend to you guys if it's something like you're really into it just like I am. So it does come with a lot of stuff obviously, which I think is a good investment. In another couple months I'm going to get another one of these boxes. Since this is winter, the next one is going to be spring. So I'm kind of curious to know what they're going to do for spring, but that's actually pretty awesome. But like I was saying, they got the little card and it actually tells you exactly what's in the box. So. This is the Nick box, and that's the unboxing of my very first Nick box. So I am looking forward to doing this with you guys again. Hope you guys enjoyed it. So make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Turn on your post notifications, hit that bell button, and I'll be back with more Jason Modern Life. That's some pretty awesome stuff.